Hello, YouTube. Uh, back again with a informative DIY. Um, this time on Spectrum, intermittent Spectrum uh, Internet. Uh, I got my box hanging over for the purpose of this video, so don't mind that. I, I'll get to that in a sec. Uh, but anyways, just to kind of give you a rundown of what happened. Um, so today is Friday, um, August the 13th. Uh, so actually last Wednesday, this problem started um, <clears throat> and it will go out in and out for a couple of days. It, it kept going in and out, probably like sometimes it will be twice in an hour. Sometimes it will be once in two hours. Um, so um, what did I do? I went and got a new router. Uh, when it got went to Best Buy, got a new router up there, as you can see. Um, I'll be doing a review on that here in the uh, next few days. Um, so, when I got a router, and uh, it was about time to get a new router anyways, because the one we had, we've been having for about four years. So, did that, and the problem still persists. So... Um, called Time Warner. Uh, they had me to disconnect the, see the yellow, yellow ethernet. They had, that cord goes to the router. That, that's the modem and it goes to the router. Um, so just for those who don't know, just real quick, the modem is basically your source of internet that's what that's what you get from spectrum your router you could get a router from uh spectrum but they're going to charge your fee every month so i figure you might know might as well get a router that is mine so the router is what gives off the wi-fi signal you can see the antennas um so anyways uh spectrum had me to disconnect that ethernet port that's going into the router and connected directly to the TV. And so the uh, problem still persists. So they were like, okay, just bring it in, swap it out. Um, and you know, we, we will, you know, see how that goes. So I came in, swapped it out um, for whatever reason, they didn't accept the power cord. They was like, yeah, we don't take those. I'm like, it's yours, but hey, as long as I don't get charged for it, whatever. Um, but yeah, so the got home, connected the modem, activated it. You know, make sure you got to activate it. If you go to the location, make sure you have them activated. If you forget, like I did, all you got to do is call them. They are activated for you. Just, just ask for the MAC address on the back of the modem. Um, so... Anyways, uh, connected that, problem still persist. So, um, <clears throat> what happened? Uh, after that, spoke with a friend of mine. And he was like, yeah, I had the same issue. Um, I just changed out all my Ethernet ports. So, long story short, I had bought, just bought some Ethernet port, e Ethernet cords. I'm sorry, Ethernet cords. And so I was like, what the heck? Might as well change them out all. So I changed them out, changed out all of them for the Xbox, the TV, the Wi-Fi extender, uh, and the one going from the modem to the router, uh, changed out all of those. So it went from, the inter intermittent went from maybe one, once or twice every hour to maybe once every two or three hours. So I was like, okay, that must have did some kind of good. So, um, it's, you know, the problem still persists. Um, called out Time Warner. Um, luckily, you know, they came out that day. Um, they was able to come out that day. And so he came here. I explained to him what happened. And so one of the issues that he said was that, so I got this plate from Home Depot, which came with a brass coupler connection. Uh, he said that that's not good for their uh, coax cables. So uh, he changed it out for the um, 
you know, for the aluminum, whatever. Uh, he redid all the connections, all the little connections. Um, he did that one. He did not do the one going, you can see the white coax cable going into the back of the modem, just for those. Uh, so this is, this is the modem. Oh, wow, I just unplugged it. Uh, yeah, so this is the modem. Let me, give me just a second. So yeah, anyways, this is the modem um, and everything. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you the back cause yeah, it's, uh, I don't want nobody trying to hack, hack into it by the Mac address, whatever. <sighs> anyways, um, he changed out that connection, the connection in the attic. And then also, just a second he changed out the connection that's outside the house that goes up into the house he changed out that this connection that connection and then also the connection at the terminal where that cable runs down my driveway and basically where everybody's time warner cable uh is connected to he redid that connection and so um after he did all of those connections um everything worked fine uh didn't have no more issues it's been he came what's today yeah he came out wednesday today is friday uh and i have yet to have any internet connect i mean it, not any internet connection, but as you can see up there, you can see where the red dot is. That's because I just unplugged it. Uh, but anyways, normally when I have good, you know, internet connection, all of those dots are white. Uh, will so eventually all of those will be, you know, white, uh, a solid white uh, or twitching white. Um, and then all of your lights on here should be a solid blue. Not going to see how it goes back and forth between white and blue. It should be a solid blue. So anyways, I hope that helped you guys out. Um, you know, I was, I was so close to um actually getting i seen a, a guy go and get his own router on or modem on uh another youtube video that i had seen i was like you know i don't want to do that because if if i do have to do that that means spectrum you know gonna have to kind of save about five or ten dollars off my bill so luckily i didn't have to do that um so yeah anyways to go back over i just changed out the ethernet ports and time warner came and changed out all the little connections and and couplers and all of that stuff and now we're back we're back we're good so anyways i hope that helped you out and uh if you have any more questions please comment uh comment uh subscribe please subscribe and uh I'll see you guys next time around.